Hi, my name is Stephen Hadhazi. I am a public insurance adjuster and software developer. I am also the creator of iScope, and today I'm here to show you a quick video on some new additions to iScope. Uh, the quantifiers that you see here are new. Um, we're all familiar with quantifiers such as C for ceiling or PF for perimeter of floor. Uh, you know, for years we've been using uh, things like PF uh, to enter in the measurements for baseboard. It saves us a lot of time, W for walls on, on the paintwork. And I've, I've often wondered why nobody created a way to add up, let's just say the, uh, um, the window widths. If we had three windows that uh, were all five feet wide and uh, we know that that's 15 linear feet, why are we forced to go in there and manually put that information in? Uh, well, today I've created a way to do that and, and a lot more. Um, right here, this is the ND, okay? This is number of doors. So no more do you have to, to count the number of doors. This is useful for things like remove and replace door jam and casing, okay? Here's linear footage of door trim. So it'll count up all the doors and then it'll figure the amount of trim around each specific door. So if you have a 2-0 door and a 3-0 door and a 4-0 door, uh, it's going to know exactly what the linear footage is for each one, and it's going to calculate that and put it in here for you so that you can paint door trim with one shot. Uh, ND, there again, number of doors, LFWW is going to be linear footage of window widths. And so it's going to count all of the windows in the room and add up the widths to them. So remove and replace window apron. You no longer have to go in there and calculate that. You just have this code. You can either type this code in or you can have it saved in a macro. You can have remove and replace window apron or uh, remove and replace window stool and have this LFWW saved into a macro and uh, you know just drop it in. It'll do all the work for you. Um, so here's LFWT, okay? Now that's linear footage of window trim. So if you have trim around the perimeter of a window, it'll figure that as well. Okay, here's number of windows. No more will you have to, uh, if you have things like clean window blinds or remove and reset window drapes or window blinds, uh, it'll add up all the windows for you now. Uh, SFW, the square footage of windows, a lot of you have left out cleaning windows. Yeah, that's important, especially on things like fires, uh, you know, especially, you know, you have uh, some sheetrock or something that falls from the ceiling and gets the whole wall wet. Well, the window's dirty too. Nobody's going to spend the time to calculate all the square footages. We don't have to spend that time anymore. It can be done for you. Um, number of windows can also be used for things like uh, reinstall magnetic security alarm contacts. Um, LFWT, linear footage of window trim, okay, linear footage of C, uh, LFCM. Now this is kind of new. Uh, linear footage of cove molding. Now we've always been able to calculate the cove molding around the perimeter of the ceiling because that's just like crown molding. So we just put PC for perimeter of ceiling. Well, you know, we've also got that vertical cove molding in all the corners of the room. Okay, this is going to calculate that for you. Uh, we've also got something else here. Now this might be a little bit controversial, but not really. Okay, I mean, the fact of the matter is masking electrical outlets and switches, the insurance companies have always long held that that's included in the unit cost for paint. Well, I'm here to tell you that that is impossible. You can't include something into a unit cost that you don't know is going to always be there. There are many rooms that don't have very many outlets or switches, but do have a whole lot of square footage of wall paint, such as an entryway. Okay, some of these entryways are 20 feet tall, and you know we don't really have you know wall switches or uh, outlets above around I don't know five six feet, and so we have all this square footage uh, up to 22 foot that that has none. Uh, yet, th that, yet they say that they're calculating it in. Well, they're really not. They're just telling you they are so that they don't have to figure it. Okay, well, what I've done is I've created a way to uh, put in electrical outlets or switches by the linear foot. So if you're in an old home and you know that, well, they've probably only got one outlet or switch per room, well, you can account for that. If it's a new room and they're internet ready and 
they got all the cable TV and everything else, well, then you might figure, well, they've got, a, they've got an outlet or switch approximately every six linear feet. So you can figure that in. So you can say, okay, uh, I've got, I want to put an outlet every 10 feet. So you just come right up here and you go to configure global preferences. And right here it says one switch plate or outlet cover per, and right here it's at 10 linear feet of wall. And so it's, this is an estimate. Now all these other ones, all these others are not estimates, okay? These are, uh, these are real figures over here. This one is an estimate of how many switch plate covers are going to be in that room. So if you've got 70 linear foot of wall space, uh, then it's going to estimate, you know, there's going to be 10 outlets in that room. Now, some of you may choose not to use this. I put it in there. Use it. Don't use it. All this other stuff is great. This is going to really help you guys create uh, some really, really detailed estimates. Let me, let me just show you how to drop this into a macro. I, well, I already put it into a macro. We're going to drop it. We're going to go over here to the default macro, window and door items, press OK. Now, you don't have that in your copy of iScope. I just made this at macro. I can send this macro to you if you like. OK, uh, let's go. There, we're in the den, so you can see these, have these numbers have changed a little bit since I just dropped that macro into the den. And so you're beginning to see the power of this. I mean, really, really quickly, you can create these 30, 40, 50 page estimates. Uh, whereas before, I know either a lot of you were leaving this stuff out because you thought it wasn't worth your time to sit and manually calculate all that stuff. You know, because a lot of this stuff, like, you know, clean windows, it just doesn't add up. I mean, 39 bucks, I mean, it doesn't add up to a lot of money. But if it's done automatically for you, it is worth doing. And then a lot of you, you do like to do these detailed estimates, and you're spending hours on each one. Well, not anymore. If you're an iScope user, it's now done all automatically for you. Thanks a lot, and I hope you enjoy using iScope.